Time to check in with the Strimmies. Slingin' Dirt, presented by Hercules Tire. Dirt, late model, dirt modified, and big block modified talk. Now on MRN.com. Here now are David and Ashley. Hello, it is Tuesday again, and it is time for another di- edition of Sling and Dirt presented by Hercules Tires. We're going to talk about late models, modifieds, and everything in between, um, especially when you have David Stremme alongside of you. I am Ashley. We have an amazing show today. We have Devin Moran joining us. Um, he's really close to getting him a crown jewel. He's He's been right there every time, but he did win Best Appearing Car this weekend at Eldora Speedway. Throwback. So we'll talk about the throwback there for sure. Um, Ricky Thornton Jr. also joining us. He is your IMCA Boone Nationals um, winner this year. And last but not least, Jeff Strunk. He won the Grandview 76er Modified Race for $25,000. So uh, a pretty good show we have today. Yeah, it's not bad um, considering Knoxville's this week. So all the late mall guys are getting ready. Two big crown jewel races back to back. But uh, first off, the, the tire concerns for Eldora, it seemed like, from what I had heard talking to everybody, it, it went over fine, you know. And, and obviously, Pierce is on to something, uh, or I should say I'm not on, but it fits <laughs> his style, uh, you know, with winning the North-South. Uh, they had kind of the same tire rule there and then also at Eldora. But really the Eldora race, what stood out to me was Don O'Neill had great runs uh, the whole time. Mm-hmm. And I, it was funny because Boyer tweeted, he's like, now we know how to get, you know, Don up on the wheel, is Hudson was there, his son, and his boy had run phenomenal throughout the weekend, I thought, for, for being his first, you know, uh, super late model big race. Uh, and, I mean, he, uh, he didn't make the final show, but he was, he was really close. Um, you know, it's just it was really neat to see. I mean, and we see a trend of uh, what I say the newcomers of the dirt late models. The, the, the new father, son. The, the, what's going to be the face of dirt late models over the next years. You, Pierce is obviously one of them. Right. Uh, we look at Moyer Jr., and, and uh, then you have Devin, and who we're going to have on the show. You got Hudson O'Neill. I mean, there's so many guys, and um, I mean, it, it, you could go on with a list. So it's really cool to see that healthy uh, part mm-hmm. of it. But um, it was it was quite show hats off to Eldora. It was phenomenal. Uh, again, what they do, um, it started, I think it was like 8.30. They had a little rain delay. They were done by 10.30. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, uh, unbelievable. Um, one, I like to talk about this. The World 100, the, obviously. The 50-50 was oh, yes. pretty darn impressive this yes. weekend. Thursday, it was just shy of seven grand. Friday, it was just over 10 grand. And Saturday, it was just shy of $28,000. Yeah. Um, so, I just thought that was huge. I mean, you hear it at the Knoxville Nationals. It's always up there. It's, you know, in the yep. 20s of yep. thousands of dollars. So, uh, they're doing it at the World 100 as well. The, the other thing, uh, up at the 100, I'll give a shout-out. Dennis Herb Jr., uh, obviously, he won the Dream. He was right there, run second. So, I mean, he is he's on a roll there at Eldora. You can't count him out on anything. Uh, Dale McDowell, also a very strong run, uh, you know, in the Dream. He was right there, run third. Uh, some Something that was very interesting is Davenport. He was he come on strong uh, in the preliminaries, run second one night. But uh, finished 18th in in the main event. So um, it was interesting, you know, maybe the tires, maybe I I, I heard conditions, what they did from Friday to Saturday. They didn't do too much to the track. But what I had seen, it was awesome racing. I mean, uh, all over the place. We've seen highlights. I shared it from, uh, I think it was just Friday alone was phenomenal, the preliminary. So Eldora's doing a great job. Maybe they don't have the track records and everything else, which we don't need them. We need to put on a good show. And there's a lot of passing going on, and, and we've seen it not only in the late miles but in the sprint cars for the uh, for the uh, Kings Royal, too. Yeah. Well, talking about good racing for late models, we got to go back to my home track of Port Royal Speedway this past weekend and enjoy the fair and eat all yep. kinds of stuff while we were there. But we also did get to watch some good racing in the late model division. Yes. Um, some great sliders side by side. It was absolutely insane, and it's so amazing to just see – Late model racing really growing in central Pennsylvania. Yeah, uh, and I would. I wish I knew more names. I only know Trent uh, Stone. Oh, um, and uh, the other Jeremy. Uh, he he he. The MBH car. He ended up uh, uh, Huey's car. 
But anyways, the late mile racing was to me, and I'm not saying this because I'm a I'm I'm not. <laughs> I a will agree with you on this push start one. guy, but the late model race on Friday was phenomenal. Um, the the push start race was pretty good. You know, I mean, sprint cars they were okay, but um, <laughs> the late model racing was, was definitely where it was at. Uh, also, what was interesting, uh, Mississippi Thunder had their forty thousand to win this past weekend. Uh, they had hundred plus cars there. I mean, had some weather. They dealt through it. Uh, Bloomer didn't even show up Thursday. Didn't have his car ready. He shows up Friday. Obviously, it had rained. So then Saturday they roll in. Guy rolls in, runs second in the in the uh, preliminary race. Got him locked in, and uh, runs second in the main event to Ryan Gustin by like half a car. You gotta give that guy hats off <laughs> for not running mods. And 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 I said going up there, if he makes the race, he'll be good. But just getting in is gonna be difficult because. Uh, when you look at Ryan Gustin one, then it was Bloomer, Rodney Sanders third, who's been on a roll. Kate Diller, R.C. Whitwell, and Jason Hughes. I mean, heavy hitters. Heavy hitters, absolutely. Uh, we knew they were going to be there. Um, so I mean, it was it was phenomenal show. I seen some video of it. It was slick top to bottom, and uh, of course the photo uh, finish. Uh, you should say that that went around, but um, really really cool event up there. I mean, for having three big races, Boone Nationals, Mississippi Thunder, and the World. Uh, all fought weather, but they all got their shows in. So fans, they worked hard. Them promoters and everybody. I see, even seen Boone at a jet dryer. Well, that's out. what I was just going to say. Yeah. Speaking of rain, Boone busts out their jet dryer to uh, dry the and track. I'd seen the tech one night. One of the tech guys had, had uh, put on social media. He got done at 630 in the morning. He said, time to a little sleep. <laughs> we'll go back to work. But um, it, it, it's really crazy. Probably the coolest thing I've seen and read uh, was – Bob Pierce, and, and we we're going to try to have him on the show this week, but, again, they're getting ready for Knoxville. Um, he was quoting, you know, his son winning a race and everything, and then he said, hey, I'm going to have a beer with Earl on the front stretch uh, for the <laughs> World 100. So I thought that was really cool. Again, uh, a lot of the racers remembered in the history mm-hmm. and uh, and the people that really built this up, and obviously Bob Bob Pierce has done a lot, but that was a that was a big win for him. Mm-hmm. So And uh, talking about remembering um, a sh- – Big kudos out to um, Bobby Pierce Jr. Yes. Um, unfortunately, uh, we lost Shane Unger this weekend at Eldora Speedway. And um, he didn't know really what to do. And he said all he could do was go up and hug Shane's wife. Yeah. And um, I think that really speaks miles for the Pierce family. And just remembering their roots well, and where they came from and, and everything about, um, you know, what our sports build on. And yeah. Shane was a, a great factor in our sport, a modified and late model racer. Um, just some well, quick information about him and, and what they've got going on this week. Um, they're receiving friends Wednesday, September 14th from 4 to 8 p.m. And then the service is Thursday, September 15th at 10.30 a.m. at the Zakar Bailey Funeral in Greenville, Ohio. Um, the really cool thing that I think that the family is doing is that they're asking that you dress casual and you wear your favorite racing T-shirt, um, yeah. which just totally explains Shane and, and what he's all about and how much he and, loves racing. Uh, to to paint a story, Bobby Pierce, his wife, they had they had built a little memorial thing after the races yes. up in uh, where the accident was, and Bobby took his trophy up there, and that's what the picture was. And, and uh, really, really true champion, I mean, to – uh, put aside his celebration to to go up and thank her, but um, it, we've seen door rafflings. We've seen Tony Stewart yes. sign the, uh, the 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 door that Steve Francis had run. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's numerous pages that, that are trying to raise money uh, for for Shane's family. Uh, probably what I thought was um, more interesting is the group of people, not only from the dirt world. I I knew friends in asphalt up in that area that knew him and spoke very highly of him and uh it, it's it's very sad uh and and hopefully with Shane's accident there's there's a lot of good things that can come out of this mm-hmm. and the main thing is just go uh you know when when you're going out this weekend to go race or whenever it is just check over your stuff um you know everybody needs to really look at what's going on um in in the safety department uh with with this day and age so well, we have Devin Moran joining us next here on Sling and Dirt, presented by Hercules Tires on MRN.com. Sling and Dirt returns in one minute on MRN.com. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. 
your vehicle has a bumpy ride, it might be time for new shocks or struts. Right now at O'Reilly Auto Parts, buy four Monroe shocks and struts for the price of three after mail-in rebate. Improve your vehicle's steering, stopping, and stability with Monroe shocks and struts at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Better parts, better prices every day. Restrictions apply. See store for details. Oh, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. Victory Junction was young race driver Adam Petty's dream. He worked toward building a camp where children with serious medical conditions could concentrate on fun and not their illness or disease. When he died tragically, his family and friends around NASCAR made sure that dream came true. Today, Victory Junction is a camp that provides fun, life-changing experiences to children dealing with illnesses and disabilities, all at no cost to the camper. Help us serve more children by visiting victoryjunction.org. There's a place where time stands still, but the clock always ticks. A place where the roots begin. Oh, the heartland of stock car racing. But the tree is still growing. Green flag, it is out. Joey Logano on the... It's Martinsville Speedway. Yes. NASCAR Sprint Cup Series races back to the half mile of Mayhem October 30 for the Goodies Fast Relief 500. Tickets are on sale now. Call 877-RACE-TICK or visit martinsvillespeedway.com to purchase yours. This is Slingin' Dirt on MRN.com. Now back to Ashley and David Stremme. Welcome back to Slingin' Dirt. We're the Stremmies. And joining us now, it is the young gun, Devin Moran. Welcome to the show, Devin. Hey, thanks for having me on, guys. Absolutely. So, Devin, you are knocking on the door of one of these crown jewels. I mean, it, it's any race you're going to be winning one of them soon. Yeah, I was really hoping it was going to be this past weekend, uh, we had a really good car. Well, we didn't get a race Thursday night, but we had a really good car Friday night and had a really good car early in the evening Saturday, but just didn't do what we needed to do for the feature and it just bit us in the butt, and now we're going to have to wait until next year to get try to win there. Well, you definitely got to be proud of your program. Um, to me, uh, what you guys are able to do uh, out of your shop there, it's not like you have a large funding from big sponsors. It's not like you have a... A, a, a you know uh, how do I want to say a large crew all that I mean to me you guys do very well with what you have um, but not only it was at the North South Shootout you run well uh, at Eldora I mean you outrun some phenomenal teams and it's got to make you feel good about where your program's at and it does um, I'm not we don't have the funding or the crew or anything but we still prepare like any if not yep. better than most of the teams that do have the funding or the crew. Yep. Me and my brother, we spend, do you know how much time this racing is? And we spend our entire lives down here at the shop working and getting everything ready. Um, actually, neither of us get paid to do that. We just, we do it so we can go out there and compete. And that that's our lives. That's all we do. So uh, when it shows up like that, it, it makes me proud. It makes my brother proud. It makes my dad proud. And, uh, I know guys like Tommy Pope, who's jumped on board this year and helped us out. He was calling me and texting me. He said he said his neighbors were probably wondering what was going on because he was yelling, <laughs> and cheering, and stuff. And and that's that's what this deal's about. I don't. I'm not to the point where I can make a full time living doing this. Yeah. But I feel like if me and my brother keep doing and my dad keep doing what we're doing, then we'll just keep on getting more people jump on board and help us out to where I can make a full time living. And maybe go run the Lucas or the Lord of Outlaws or anything else they want us to run, you know? Yeah, and that's that was my point is you're able to take what you have and do so much beyond what what it is. But uh, what's, what the cool thing is is that uh, being in that Ohio area, um, it's kind of a late model area, but it's not like, um, you know, it would be known for, uh, say, down in the south or out in the Midwest. Uh, what are some of the things that contribute to the program? You know, is it being able to run some of the local shows or, or just, uh, you know, having your dad there? Or what, what's some of that? Well, really, I, I think our area slash region is way under the radar. Because if you look, Jackie Ball, Doug Drown, Zach Dome, the Conleys, Carpenter, Pater, all these guys run phenomenal when the national touring series comes in. So that point, I kind of think it's under the radar, but. I mean, yeah, there's uh, my dad, uh, Keith Burner from Mackey, of course, uh, Barry Wright Race Cars. We've all just been working and working and working just trying to get this car to go. And as the season went on, about halfway through the year, we built another car and got it ready. And we kind of got back on stride when we 
had a good run at the north south. Uh, we had a decent Buckeye speed week, and then uh, this past weekend at Eldora when we ran good. Uh, we had a win at Portsmouth a couple of weeks ago, and we were just phenomenal. Just just keep on in and just keep getting this thing better. Actually, we're packing the truck up right now. Me and Dad are uh, driving down the Bay Ridge to pick up another new car this week, so uh, awesome. hopefully that will enhance us a little bit farther, and maybe we'll get a crown jewel. Maybe we'll get that dirt track world championship at the end of the year. I love it. I mean, you are right there, and I would not be surprised if it actually ends up happening. You've been knocking on the door, and, and you're going to earn it. But uh, you keep mentioning your dad, Donnie Moran, the million-dollar man. Um, I want to talk about this weekend at Eldora. You did win the best-appearing car with the throwback to your father um, with the big Johnson car. <laughs> I, got, I love yeah. it. What made you – I mean, your dad had a lot of paint schemes throughout the years. What What made you choose that one? I mean, there's two that really come to mind when I think of my dad. There's the like the light blue with the I think red numbers, white numbers. It's hanging up on the shelf I'm looking at right now. That one and the Big Johnson are the two that I've always remembered growing up. <clears throat> Big Johnson was so iconic just from the T-shirt sales and everything. Everybody knew about Big Johnson. And 20 years ago, uh, Dad was the first one to ever we uh, ever sweep the dream in the world, and it was in the Big Johnson car. So. We just kind of wanted to pay tribute to him for everything he does for us. Um, I I don't know how many times I counted this weekend. He would just look at this car and just kind of smirk or smile. Just <laughs> I think it brings back those memories. And he just had a really good time this weekend. And it was cool what Dirt on Dirt does for us with the best appearing car. And we were just yep. uh, lucky enough or whatever it was to win. So uh, it was just a cool weekend. <laughs> it, I was uh, very interested. I had seen a video uh, Billy Moyer Jr. put up. He was he was in your shop uh, when he was on this uh, what I call the Eastern Swing of World Outlaws. Mm-hmm. Him and your dad are sitting there balling in like playing basketball in the shop. <laughs> and your dad, he it wasn't like he, he was just playing you know pig or anything else. He was like on on it. You know. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know if I'd call it balling, but they were. <laughs> well, they come were, on, for a white guy, <laughs> for a white guy, he was balling. For a white guy, he was balling. Yeah, yeah. It was, uh, we were playing basketball all weekend, and I don't know. They just started smack talking each other. We like to have a lot of fun here in the shop, and they just started playing. And then I snuck over there with my phone, like did Facebook Live or whatever it was. And afterwards, we were done. We were laughing. That's it. You did not put that on anything, did you? I said, yeah, it's all over the place now. He said, oh, my, and just kind of giggled. But it was it was a lot of fun. Uh, actually, I feel like Dad and Keith Burners helped little Billy out a lot. Uh, more Burner than my dad, but, man, he's been running really good lately, too. So congrats to them guys on their hard work also. I, I was going to ask you because he his program seemed to step up after he was there in your guys' shop. Well, I mean, I'm not trying to throw anybody on the bus or anything, but uh, <laughs> when Burner and uh, Little Billy came over and they did some tests and I got in the car and Billy got in, and Dad would just start, like, after I got done, I came back over and started working. Dad was on the track coaching Billy, and he yeah. he pretty much went through, like, a se- hour session of my dad's driving school, and oh, wow. that's not the reason why he's running good. Keith Burner's got his car good, and he's driving good, but that just kind of... I think it kind of gave Billy a little bit of confidence because he isn't fortunate enough to have his dad around all the time. So yep. uh, my dad kind of stepped up and helped him. He's always liked little Billy, and he just kind of coached him for about an hour, and I, I really think that's helping also. I think if I'm through it. Ohio, I'm going to make a detour Stop. Absolutely. A, a week and try to go to the hour-long school. But <laughs> what about when you talk about Barry Wright, uh Obviously, uh, Jimmy Owens and him—they kind of—they've uh, gone different ways. Has that helped your program? Because Barry's got to have some fire in him to really, uh, you know, f- showcase his program. I'm not saying it's helped it or hurt it. Um, I know Jimmy was actually really happy with his cars. Just they had to go a different route. So in racing, that's what you have to do sometimes. Yeah. But Barry called us and told us what the deal was and what was going on. And um, actually. I don't I don't know exactly how it got into play because I, I wasn't really in the middle of it, but Dad yeah. and Tommy and Barry, uh, they were all talking, and they wanted to get this new car together and get it done. And they, they think it's going to be a really good piece, and that's why we're kind of hurrying up and getting ready to go down there to get it. Just he wa- he wants, He's wants he got that fire under his butt, and he wants yeah. to get out there and win these crown jewels. And as good as we've been running in the crown jewels, I really think we can win one. I, 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 I mean, agree. 
It wouldn't surprise me because Barry and Lance do a phenomenal job down there, uh, have tons of history, and I mean, uh, I, I think it's a great, you know, uh, uh, team that you guys have there with everybody kind of involved with that. The knowledge between your dad and Barry, uh, it, I think it would definitely showcase here uh, throughout this year. What? Yeah, well, go ahead, go ahead. No, no, no. I, I was going to ask, what are some of the, the, the races coming up? Are you going to come to World Finals? Are you heading to Knoxville? Like, what's some of the stuff that uh, – well, you obviously ain't heading to Knoxville, but what are some of the big races coming up here? I'm not going to Knoxville. Uh, one reason, actually, is because I'm driving for Bruce Kane, uh, the crate car over at Virginia Motor Speedway this weekend oh. for the Fast awesome. Track 15,000 wins. So, so we'll see you there. How, yeah. Oh, you guys are going? Yeah, yeah. we're going to be running the Modifieds awesome. on Saturday. Yeah, yeah. That's, I think we're practicing Friday and racing Saturday. But after that, I, we don't really have anything set in stone. There's a couple races next weekend, either uh, – Brownstown for the Jackson or a 5,000 win at Ohio Valley. I know we will be at Portsmouth in a couple of weeks. We'll be at the Pittsburgh in a couple of weeks. Um, so I know there's a show at East Alabama, but I'm not for sure if we're going there or not yet. Yeah. Um, I kind of want to go to the World Finals, but I don't know if that's too keen on that or not. So yeah. just kind of playing it week by week. I know we're going to Virginia this weekend, but uh, next weekend I don't even know where we're going yet. It's Literally week by week, and just everything will be posted on DevonMarinRacing.com. Cool. I, 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 we don't have nothing set in stone because we're just a week to week team. Fly by the seat of your well, pants. Well, Devin, I, I, I have like... some good news for you because yeah. I, I know at Portsmouth last year, I seen this guy we have hanging out in here, Juan the Giraffe, hung out <laughs> with you for a while, and he's going to. You guys have Juan. That's right. Juan is Juan <laughs> is in studio with us. He's been on the show the last two weeks. He we were up in really? Illinois and got him from that <laughs> Illinois mafia crowd. Uh, and he is with us, and he will be at Virginia. Uh, See, I was curious because I was talking to Bobby over the weekend. I said, have you seen Juan? And he said he ain't seen him for a yeah. while. So that, that's, when did you guys get him? We were at, uh, we'll just say. We, we were went... in Falls a few weekends ago. Yeah. And we picked him. He had his thumb out along the side of the road in, in downtown <laughs> Fairbury, had... Illinois. So we he... picked him up. That, that, I got you. That <laughs> Gundaker and, and – uh, the uh, the Bollinger crowd, man, they were hard on him. He's trying to recover a little bit, so uh, really, he's not in good shape, huh? Uh, he's okay. He's kind of slumped he's, over. Yeah, back he's doing here. okay. So he's gonna go to Virginia, and he will be there at the Commonwealth uh, race, and and uh, maybe y'all could have a beer in that, and we'll get some pictures. Yeah, maybe we'll reunite with old the friend, right? I don't know. Are you old enough to have a beer? <laughs> I don't think he's old enough. Hey, I'm 21. Oh, are oh, you see? okay? Hey, he's good. <laughs> good. I yeah, didn't get in I'm trouble. actually gonna be 22 in like less than a month, so. Give me a little bit of credit. I'm, well, I'm old enough. To I just remember last year Juan was hanging out with you at Portsmouth there for the uh, the big Lucas Oil race. So I mean he's mm -hmm. uh, he's had some fun up there in Ohio, I'm sure. Oh yeah, we got it. I mean here at the shop, really we aren't big partiers for a race team. Yeah. But with me, my two brothers, we we got go karts and bikes and trikes and we do everything else. We just we have our own fun, just a different way, you know. I yeah. love it. Devin, what car number will you be in this weekend? Uh, it's actually a 99. Uh, Bruce and uh, Jason Parker with All About Raps, they, they've made up a whole new design and stuff. Uh, I'll be posting it on, like, my Facebook and stuff, actually, either today or tomorrow. So Perfect. you'll be able to check out some new design and everything. It'll be sweet. Awesome. I, I like it that he, he you're very active in social media. Uh, with, well, he's with... 21. He's young. <laughs> Well, I know, but I mean, people can keep up. What have you run a lot of crate cars? I've never. I've drove one, and I I raced in a steel block once. But other than that, I've no, I've never raced a crate car. But I've talked to Colton Flinner and uh, Chris Ferguson. He's going to be there this weekend, and they yeah. both raced some crate stuff. So I've talked to a couple people, and uh, I've watched a bunch of videos on Virginia Motor the last two nights. So. They, Hopefully you, I can get in there and just get the hang of it. You need to talk to your buddy Pierce because he was he was hell in a in a crate car. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I love it. Well, Devin, we will see you this weekend for sure. But uh, so but best of luck with the rest of the crown jewels. I'm so excited to have you on the show when you win one this year. I'm calling it right now. You're gonna win a All crown right. jewel before the well, end of the year. I, I think we only got the dirt track left. I don't know if there's oh, any that's other right. crown jewels. Is I there? was thinking no, because you're not going to Knoxville. I mean the pit, the Pittsburgh. It's a big show, but yeah. other than that. So I'll have, to, I'll have to win either the Pittsburgh or the dirt track. I think the dirt track would be the one to have. There you go. Yeah. Absolutely. Love it. Either awesome. One. Thanks for being on the show, Devin. We appreciate it. Hey, thanks for having me, guys. Absolutely. Thank you. I'll, I'll see you guys this weekend. Sounds right. good. See you there. I love him.
You know you what say I that love? about all our guests. I'm beginning well, to wonder yes. if you love me any. I mean, <laughs> hey, no, not really. <laughs> the thing that I found interesting is, uh, again, uh, what the respect he has for his father. Absolutely, that's okay. But not only his father, but for it's like Billy Moyer Jr. and Pierce. They all grew up at the track, mm-hmm. and you know their dads were all you know always together, rivals. But they're all friendly rivals, sure. and that's what's cool about it. What I was going to say before you interrupted me is that I what I love is is the whole father son that you mentioned, but they're making these guys work for it. It's not Why given not? to them because I mean we That's what it should be because uh, hang not, on Whoa, we, pump the brakes. I'm talking. I'm on. not disagreeing with you. I I think that these kids have to work for it, but I love that these fathers are kind of stepping back and saying, "Figure it out yourself." Granted, they're still there for help and and their two yeah. cents, but like he was saying, dad doesn't come to the shop often. We're the ones, me and my brother and I are yeah. the ones in here working every single week. Well, I'll back up and go, that's why dirt racing is successful Absolutely. right now. Because asphalt racing, the fans have lost touch with a driver. It just rents a ride, comes in, shows up, and drives. Mm-hmm. Uh, all these guys can relate to them. So hats off to them. It's it's how they were raised, and, and yeah. obviously their families are doing a great job. So Speaking of another young gun, we will talk to Ricky Thornton Jr. up next here on Sling and Dirt, presented by Hercules Tires on MRN.com. Sling and Dirt returns in one minute on MRN.com. Whatever you drive, wherever you go, Hercules Tires will get you there. Whether you're running on dirt or running a job. Our dependable, high-quality tires are the perfect fit for your needs. For unmatched value, selection, and warranty with industry-leading road hazard protection, there's only one choice. Hercules Tires. To learn more, visit HerculesTire.com or call 800-677-9535. Hercules Tires, right on our strength. From work life to nightlife, from home to the road, your day can take you anywhere. These fast-paced times call for Wrangler Advanced Comfort Jeans. Advanced Comfort is designed to keep up with you, no matter where you go or what you're doing. They're made with 20% stronger denim and four-way flex technology that moves with you. Wrangler Advanced Comfort. Go anywhere, look great, and be comfortable. Wrangler Advanced Comfort Jeans. Try on a pair today. This is Slingin' Dirt on MRN.com. Now back to Ashley and David Stremme. Welcome back to Slingin' Dirt presented by Hercules Tires. Joining us on the hotline now, he is your Super Nationals winner. It is Ricky Thornton Jr. Welcome back to the show, Ricky. Thank you guys for having me. You, I don't even know where to start with this. Just an absolute phenomenal weekend and, and finally another one in the history books, but your first Boone Nationals win. It's definitely an unbelievable weekend. We uh, couldn't win any better for us. Where where do you put? I mean, you you won the uh, uh, All Star race, correct? Uh, the race of champions. Race of champions. That's right. I knew. And and what I was impressed, you started thirtieth in the one <laughs> event, drove all the way up. You know, obviously uh, got the win in it. But um, where does this season rank? Because you've had such a a good year compared to years past. I mean. We we might have had a little more wins last year, but this, I think this year's got to be higher than last year, just because we we probably made more money this year, and we've been a lot more competitive at some of the bigger shows we've been to. Mm-hmm. What what I mean is there anything that you can specifically say this is why this is what's made this year so great? Well, like uh, I think the biggest thing, like we won, we went to. Uh, Dakota Speedway, we won their legendary race. And last year when we went there, they had a, it was their Dakota Tour show, and we didn't even make the show. So, to like, go back and then win the show, that, <laughs> to me, that was probably the biggest thing. Yeah. Do you, do you, I know you moved from Arizona up to Iowa area, you know, for this summer uh, stretch or fall. I don't know, really know. But, um, do you think that's helped your program being able to race uh, more throughout the summer in that area? I think so. Um, like we moved up just at the end of April, and then we're gonna we're gonna go back to Arizona in like October. But 
as of right now, like we've run 114 shows this year. Wow. And I think just being able to run a lot more, I we've been to so many different racetracks. I kind of learned a lot more in and out of what I need to do in the car yeah. just to help me out. Mm-hmm. It was it was impressive watching you. Uh, I think it was uh, you and Gustin racing um, yourself, and who was in the preliminary race? It was yourself. Um, I'm trying to think. I know it was uh, a Rooter, and there's another guy there. And you guys, uh, Jay Irvine. Irvine. I mean, you guys put on a show, and and it was back and forth. I mean, it, I, I don't know if I'd call them sliders because you weren't really supposed to have <laughs> sliders out there in Boone. But there, <laughs> I there don't think that great, rule actually held up. Though. Yeah, but there was great racing. Um, you know, you you had uh, it, it, obviously it wasn't the same car you had there last year because that car got killed. So was it? You think this one was better? I mean, where do you where do you feel your program? Because I I think didn't you have an open motor in for this show too? Yeah, we uh, the car I ran last year we hurt earlier this year at uh, the Humboldt race. Yeah. So we built a brand new one for the North Dakota tour, mm-hmm. and we we're really successful right out of the box with it. And then uh, like we come to Super Nationals and we were we were good, and I had my crate motor in. Uh huh. Well, it. We kept getting rain. We kept getting more rain. So I, I just made the decision, let's put my open motor in. That way, it's one less thing I have to worry about Yeah. as far as being out, out motored. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I think it was honestly probably the, the best thing we did. Yeah. Um, like our heat races, track, the tracks were pretty hammered down. And I think without it, I probably wouldn't even made the, the qualifier that night. Yeah. Um, but like our qualifier, the track was track was they had slick for a qualifier, so they didn't really help us there. Mm-hmm. But then, like, when it came to the race of champions and the, the big show and all that, I mean, the first 15, 20 laps, the track was muddy and just fast as you could go. So I, I think, honestly, that just having my open in helped yeah. a lot. But it, it, it was still, you had a great car, great, I mean, you were doing a great job because I had seen in the uh, in the big dance, they call it, in the main uh, you know, Gustin's up there with his open motor, and he kind of fell. And I mean, you were able to still maintain when it got slick. So uh, it still says a lot about your program. Now they they auction that motor off, correct? Yeah, we ended up we ended up losing it. Um, they they always auction off the winner's motor. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it, it ended up going for sixty five hundred dollars. Oh man! What? And that was. Uh, so, can you not buy it back? <laughs> well, you can buy it back, but we the only reason. We didn't buy it back. Was I didn't? We don't have enough money to buy it back. Yeah. Oh well, what about God. so this weekend at Marshalltown? You won this race last year in another guy's car. It's called the. Uh, I, I, I know it's an all open motor show. I don't know the, the exact terminology. Yeah, uh, so are you going to be able? National. The open motor nationals. Are you going to be able to to go there, or <laughs> what's your plans? Well, our our plan is we're not going to go there. We're actually going to go run the late model at Knoxville. Okay. Well, that's even better. So, I, I'm still stuck on this open motor sold no motor situation currently. Um, do they give they give you another wait. motor yes. right? Yeah, they. Uh, but it's a crate like, motor, right? Well, if if you have a crate and you lose your crate, they'll give you another crate. Yeah. But then if you're on an open and you lose your you lose your open, they'll give you an open. Okay. So like, uh, Carlos Performance is the one that does it all. Mm-hmm. So. I just, I got to get with them, and then they said they'd have me a motor in a couple weeks. Okay, that makes well, me feel good. a little bit better <laughs> about this situation, but I'm still yeah. not sold on it. <laughs> but I think it, now you had uh, uh, Chad Mullins' motor in, correct? Uh, correct. Yeah, Mullins. Yeah, we, uh, we we just got with Mullins, and mm-hmm. so at least I know it. Well, which if we had to, we could find a motor. Yeah, sure. I was gonna say Chad and them do a great job with their engine programs that they put out and. Uh, but I was curious. I mean, it's even great news that you're going to, to you know, Knoxville because that's a, a big crown race, and the way you run in the Dream and some of these other late mile races, you got to be looking forward to that. Oh, definitely. That and Knoxville is one of those places that, whenever I was well, first born, it was one of those tracks that I've always wanted to go to. Well, and like we had a shot to go last year, and it ended up raining out. So mm-hmm. it's, it's going to be cool that we get to go this year. Now you and I'm gonna bring this up because I know you really didn't have anything to do with it. And and are these the same guys you drove for at the Dream? Yeah, it's the same team. So you you show up and drive. So 
I know you're off <laughs> suspension. Did you have a talk with him and go, look, we, I don't know if it, what happened, but you got to go, look, my name's connected to this. We got to be right. Well, it, exactly. And, like, we every time I've talked to them about it, uh, they, we've, they've, from the beginning, said we didn't add anything to the tire, which, like, whenever we got our test results, it was, we didn't add anything to the tire. Just one of the tires was missing the main ingredient in it. Yeah. So... Like we're we're definitely fighting it and mm-hmm. trying to figure out exactly how it's gonna all go down. Yeah, but for, for you, sure. you just show up and drive, so it's hard. That's right. It's a hard thing. That's that was my point to get across, not to get into the whole other deal. But it's great you're gonna get to go to, to Knoxville because it's a big prestigious race. Uh, you gonna be able to go? You got any other late mile shows on on hand here? Uh, I don't think for this year. Uh, we talked about maybe doing a a full tour for next year. Oh, that'd be awesome. Um, So it kind of just all depends on how well we do at Knoxville and if if we can get the right sponsors lined up. Well, That's really cool. That would be great because you had a great, you know, down there at the winter uh, at Arizona, you had a great runs. You've had great runs up at LaSalle. Um, So I think you've definitely shown your worth and what you can do in the late model, and hopefully they can get the funding and and everything put around you uh, to do that and, and uh, of course, you gotta make room if you go on that tour. The wife's gotta be there because she's your head ranch, you know. Oh yeah, she'll definitely be there. I mean, without her, I probably maybe ran ten shows this year. She's the one that <laughs> put everything together for me. You better be careful because somebody it. might be hiring her out from underneath <laughs> you. You know. <laughs> I, I was just scrolling through her Facebook, and I just have to after reading one of her posts. Next time you change your cell phone number, make sure you. T- text everyone send out a mass text to everyone in oh, your yeah. cell phone list because it sounds like whoever has your old number got a heck of a lot of tweets this past weekend i i definitely felt bad for them because i mean like the races didn't get over till like midnight so i'm yeah. sure this one was blowing up all night hey i got a two question uh two questions here for you we ask a lot of your our guests this with that have wives that are involved in racing but the one is has she ever raced Yep, she uh she ran a sport mod for a year. Okay, so so she probably does this. So say you come in, or let's just say you were putting your open motor in. Is she uh, pretty heavy at giving her opinion towards you, or maybe you should have been driving a certain way, or you should do something else with the car? Oh yeah, she, she was actually mad that I was putting my open motor in. <laughs> uh, cause she loves the crate. She always says. We just need to weld the crate, and that way we don't have to worry about it. She she might <laughs> but, be second thinking that now. I know, and honestly, she's probably my biggest critic. Like everyone always will tell me what's going on, yeah. but whenever I talk to her, she's like, "Well, why'd you screw up in this corner on this lap? <laughs> oh yeah, why'd you go to the high side here? <laughs> yeah, this all but started. But isn't that helpful? Isn't that so helpful? Be honest. Oh. Oh, big time. I mean, you probably don't like to hear it, but ultimately, at the end of the day, it's it's helpful. Listen. Listen to what Ricky has to say. Hang on a second. Go ahead. It's really helpful, and honestly, she's probably the only one that I trust, because she's been around it her whole life, and she knows exactly what the car should and shouldn't do. Yeah. So, it's nice to be able to hop out and be like, well, what do you think? She's like, well, you look like like a dummy over in one and two, so I don't know what you're doing. Yeah. It's crazy because my wife, the reason I bring this up, I seen Shane Clanton get his, his ass chewed after Carolina race by his wife, and I was like, man, I'm glad I'm not the only one that has that happen, so I ask it a lot. But, uh, you know, like my wife, we were up in Illinois a couple of weeks ago, and I get out, and I'm like, I'm I'm not, I was frustrated, and I'm kind of just like, hey, I wanted to have a minute to myself to, to clear my head, and she's just like right on me the whole time, and I'm like, just give me a second to breathe here you know and it's no, uh you didn't it's, earn it. it's taken very well <laughs> i'm with you i i very much uh uh take in all the harsh criticism because I, I value her opinion but it's just maybe sometimes not at the right time uh when i get out of the that's car that's when but. we got to talk about it because i'm a little upset at that <laughs> point uh, i know exactly what you're talking about i that's how I am a few times, and I'm like, hey, you almost don't want to go back to your pit. You yeah, exactly. Time, then stop. That's why I sit in the car sometimes, but no, she just comes <laughs> over to the come car right window. The but, door. That's right. Hey, so uh, real quick, you're going to come, or, I know you said you're going back to Arizona in October. Are you going to just race down there, come back to Iowa? What's some of the plans? You know, you can get a house up there? Or? Well, we're talking about getting a house up here in Iowa, um, just so we're kind of 
centrally located. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, we're we're building a new USMTS car. Mm-hmm. That way, say if we do go run the late model and we have off weekend, then we can come back here and find a race close. Yeah. Um, like we'll we'll go home beginning of October. We'll run Vegas and a couple other shows at home, and then we'll start the year in in Arizona, and then kind of just go from there and try to run all over. That's awesome. Love it. Well, we wish you the best of luck this yes. weekend at Knoxville. Uh, try to park it there if you would, and uh, hopefully we'll be seeing you soon. I definitely appreciate it. Awesome. All Thanks, right. Ricky. We appreciate you. Thank you. Yeah, I seen her. Uh, there's a picture of her, like, she had these thumbs or something. Or yeah, fingers. the foam thumb. Yeah, yeah, and she was, like, screaming, you know. <laughs> She's probably mad because he had that open motor in and. He was doing something. That or she was telling him to get moving. Yeah. We get a little excited. People don't understand we're just as competitive as our husbands are. It was really cool because I know he's worked hard. He was faster last year to see him. And and he was one of the five guys that I thought could win uh, for sure going into Super Nationals. Absolutely. Well, another big winner we have joining us next up on Sling and Dirt here presented by Hercules Tires on MRN.com. Sling and Dirt returns in one minute on MRN.com. Hi, this is John, the pace car driver. Safety is very important to me and my family, so I keep informed about recalls. There are drivers out there that don't know that their very own car could be under a recall, and that's dangerous. So to protect you and your family, go to safercar.gov backslash check for recalls and enter your vehicle identification number. And if it is, call your local dealership. They'll fix it for free. To learn about other Drive for Safety messages, visit safercar.gov. Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. It's O Rewards Member Appreciation Month at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Stop in today and check out storewide savings plus earn double points on over 225 items. It's our way of saying thank you. If you're not already a member, sign up today during O Rewards Member Appreciation Month. It's fast, easy, and free. O'Reilly Auto Parts. Better parts, better prices every day. O, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. From work life to night life, from home to the road, your day can take you anywhere. These fast-paced times call for Wrangler Advanced Comfort Jeans. Advanced Comfort is designed to keep up with you, no matter where you go or what you're doing. They're made with 20% stronger denim and four-way flex technology that moves with you. Wrangler Advanced Comfort. Go anywhere, look great, and be comfortable. Wrangler Advanced Comfort Jeans. Try on a pair today. This is Slingin' Dirt on MRN.com. Now back to Ashley and David Stremme. Welcome back to Slingin' Dirt presented by Hercules Tires. Joining us now, he is the Bechtelsville Bullet, and he picked up a $25,000 payday. It is Jeff Strunk. Welcome to the show, Jeff. Thanks for having me, guys. I'm honored to be on it. Well, thanks. We we appreciate you being on. A heck of a good weekend. Um, I know your season hasn't been... I guess, up to the standards that you would hope. But how does winning the 76er really just change the whole atmosphere for the year? Yeah, it just changes everything. It's the attitude at the shop, the attitude of the crew, every everybody involved. And, I mean, it's a $25,000 win, and it's a, a lot of prestige there, a lot of history. And uh, we've run well in this race, and, you know, we've been close a bunch of times, but we've won it six times, and we tied Billy Powell Sr. with the most wins in the, the race itself. So it's pretty cool to, you know, him that way and it just changes the whole the whole room of the, the team you know it just puts everybody in a better mood and when you're struggling and mm-hmm. by your standards like you said I, I, I want to win more and we only won two races <laughs> up to last weekend so it was our third win of the year but that third win was as valuable as 10 others so <laughs> definitely huge. I, I was going to say the third win being $25,000 it's got to go uh, pretty good with the program to be able to to keep you know uh, up with a lot of the maintenance, and everything else. Is this something that is it going to allow you to do some other things? Maybe go to uh, Oswego or do some stuff during Super Dirt Car Week. Is there, you know, what's some of the plans with that? Well, we're definitely going to do some racing here at the end of the year. Um, the next two weeks, we'll do Black Court and New Egypt this weekend, and then Bridgeport the following weekend. Still contemplating Oswego where we're going to do there. We're going to run some of the you know satellite shows and the weekend night shows. So I don't know if we're going to do the 
Oswego itself, but we're going to be out here in the next couple of days. And hopefully, I mean, I'm, I'm looking forward to, you know, just racing anywhere, anywhere from home just to break the monotony and like to travel and, you know, hope to travel more next year with, with the Keystone Racing Team with Planet Benita Heinemann. And, you know, hopefully we'll get a, you know, run some more races and do some more good this year. That You know, we got some big races, all big money races, so we hope to cash in on some of them. I'm glad you you mentioned um, Glenn and Benita. I know I, I don't want to sound like your season was terrible. You still have wins, but ultimately you you had a new change. You went from an old owner to a new owner this year, and you also changed up chassis manufacturers through the middle of the season. Yeah, we ended up we ended up actually running our TO cars the majority of the time. We got a big now you know mid season there and tried running that a big big time and where we run on Friday nights, which we really did run very well at all of it. This year, our best finish was a fourth, and that's kind of unheard of, you know, for my standards from a season of racing at a track. And we ran well in the big race at the Cole Cracker. We ended up a Conci car, so we had to run the Conci and voted 17th. We ended up fifth, and we had a good car, and it was actually our Grammy car that we ran there. So we run a TO majority of the time. He has three TO cars and one big now. And, and um, it's hard running different chassis manufacturers. I mean, you guys know, you know how mm-hmm. they all react different. They're different. They all look the same, but they're definitely all different. And it's you know you sit in them different. And just as a driver, it's it's hard to hard to adjust night to night when you're running different different type cars. What with uh, when you're talking about getting a big nail, what made you want to change? Was it something you thought, hey, maybe we need to do something different with our program, or what? What was the well, I thought think process? The, the big nails were going good at Big Diamond at the time, and we were like I said, we struggled there even with the big nail. So you know maybe maybe it was something we we're missing otherwise, but. Uh, it was just something that you know Glenn wanted to give a shot, you know, give it a shot and see what, a, what how we fare, and that's what we did, and we really didn't fare much better. So mm-hmm. um, it wasn't it wasn't what we hoped for, but in the same sense, we still had the TO cars, which were producing at Grandview, and we run well some other tracks that we ran the TOs, and you know it's hard to it's hard to you know change a whole fleet of cars. He, he wanted to just try one and see how how we did with it, and that's what we did. And like I said, we really didn't you know we didn't fare any better, and and now we got a you know, like I, I got my confidence back, which is huge. You know, yep. David. I mean, it's that's you can't buy it. It don't matter how much money you have, who you are, what your name is. If you don't have confidence as a driver, you really you really struggle. And that's that's where I was at some of the some part of the season this year. And fortunately, we you know we got our confidence back the last few weeks, and it was just in time to cash in on the big one there. Yeah, it's from a driver standpoint, it's very hard to. You, you you feel like you're doing all you can and you're frustrated and just things aren't going your way and all of a sudden it's like one little thing and you feel so much better about yourself. So hopefully that brings a lot more, uh, especially like you said, coming into this fall, there's huge races. Um, you know, is there any one in particular that you're like, we're, we are for sure going to put a lot of effort into our program for this one? Um, I I think we do that for every race, but I I definitely want to win a big block race at Bridgeport because that's Glenn's you know, yeah. Glenn's uh-huh. favorite track. He's run really well there over the years, and we've we've been there five or six times this year, and we've run top five, but we you know we haven't even knocked on the door really to win one. So we were real close to the small block, you know, a couple of weeks ago, about a month ago, and had a fast car, but we haven't been able to draw a good number there. We were there, you know, five of the features we we re- redrew for the top twelve, and we had. Two elevens, two twelves, and a ten. So. Oh man, <laughs> who's doing your drawing? Draw that. uh, they don't let me draw anymore. That's for sure. <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> but I always say I draw a better picture than a number. <laughs> yeah, I, I was gonna say I, I do that. I didn't draw very good when I started this dirt deal, so I don't even touch that. I, I either yeah. send my wife or my crew chief. I'm like, I don't want nothing to do with it. So uh, it's the crew chief drew number one for us Saturday. That was a big help <laughs> to a grand youth. But I'd say yeah, he's we got all another... all the challengers and. It was hey. a great night for us, I tell you. It couldn't have been, couldn't have been any better. And, and you've also, you also earned it because you did lose the lead there at one point, but you got it back. And then there's the, the fuel stop that you have to deal with and tire sealing yep. over and all that good stuff. So you definitely earned it. It wasn't like you just parked it, you pulled the number one and, and drove to a win. No, for sure. I mean, that's, it's a, that's a great place. I, the Rogers do a great job there, and they pay great money for years and years and years. And, you know, I love racing there. I grew up right down the road as a child. And, and I uh, could almost throw a stone, you know, in the parking lot there. So it's mm-hmm. a lot of, you know, a lot of self, you know, pride there. And, mm-hmm. and just glad that we were able to get our sixth one and turn the season around. And like I said earlier, it definitely, it definitely changes everything. It's unbelievable how that, how that can happen. And, you know, at the, at the end of the day, we're all the same people. But 
it just changes everybody's attitude and everybody's in a better mood and just makes you want to be there more than you already do, you know? Yeah. And does it make it any easier um, working with Glenn and Benita? I know that's what I love about those two is when they're in, they're in 100% and they're willing to do whatever it takes for the race team. And I know he's taken some time off throughout the years to watch his kids grow and all that good stuff. Is this something that is – is there plans for 2017 now? Where where does it go for now? Yeah. Yeah, this we're definitely be together next year. And originally, when we talked, you know, I had driven for Glenn before years, you know, eight years ago, and we had a lot of success together. And that was a point where he wanted to take a break and you know spend more time with his family. And, and him and Benito are so passionate about you know about the racing, and that's pretty much all they do other than work. And and uh, they're great people and very passionate, and very competitive. And you know, I think Benito at, at times is more competitive than Glenn even. And that's, <laughs> if you know Glenn, you know how competitive he is. So. But uh, his daughter's been going too, and her boyfriend. So it's a it's a family deal. They they enjoy going, and you know they want to win races, and that's what we're here to do. That's what I'm there to do. And like I said, we would wish we would have won more during the year, but Saturday definitely made up for the the lack of wins. And hopefully, we can keep it you know keep it rolling. Jeff, I I'm curious. Is there a track that you haven't been to that you'd like to go to, uh, maybe this year or next year? Um, off the top of my head, I really couldn't say of any you know i mean we pretty much run at all of them but uh i just like i love to race you know just like any driver and you know i love to i love to go to other places i travel a lot when i race go-karts and you know i've traveled at times over the years with racing modifieds and it definitely makes you better when you go back home you know you get a different feel different applications and uh you know any, anywhere we go different or any, even even at home if we're racing i'm happy you know what i mean yeah. and, there's not really any track off the top of my head though, that I could say I'd you know love to go to that I haven't been to yet. That's a good thing. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, now is is racing your full time job, or do you have a a weekly job that you have during uh, the week? I have, a, I have a weekly job. I I work for Glenn. Also, it was my oh. daily job. So he has a metal fabrication business, and I work there. And it makes it a lot easier, you know, with with getting off to to go do the, the traveling races and whatnot, and. uh you know, he actually sometimes stays at work and lets me go. So, oh wow, I can't, I can't complain there. He's a, <laughs> he's a great owner and they're great people, and I can't say enough good things about him because they definitely, you know, give me everything and all the resources I need to do what I need to do. You know, that's good. really, really that cool. It like makes it really so good. much easier yeah. when the boss man is the boss man <laughs> all yeah. around. I, mean, got, I got all my eggs in one basket, but that's the basket I'm not afraid to have them in. You know, that's I was, really I was cool. gonna say that's a, it could be a little <laughs> scary, but it sounds like you're. You're comfortable with that, but uh, yeah, and I've worked for him on and off, you know, with, with certain businesses in the last, I'd say nine to nine to ten years. So yeah. it isn't nothing that we haven't. I mean, we have our we have our differences at times, but it's like I said, it's more like a family where <laughs> you know you just shrug it off and you get over it and then go on to the next day. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I it's a uh, it. it's a good deal. I, I'm really glad to be driving for him and looking forward to the rest of the year and next year especially. That's great. Awesome. Awesome. Love it. Well, Jeff, we appreciate you being on the show. Congratulations. And uh, hopefully the rest of this season will roll off of this momentum from this past weekend. Well, that's what we're hoping. And thanks so much, guys, for having me on. It's a great show and just honored again to, to be on the show. Oh. And yeah, you guys do a great job with your racing and your own deal. And you know, best of luck to you also. Well, All thank right. you, Jeff. Thank you. We appreciate it. Have a great weekend. You too, guys. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Love I'm it. a little jealous because them guys get to they, the big block cars up there run so much during the week and weekend and I mean it's a. I've said it all along how they manage to do what they do as as drivers, but yet also as the racetracks getting fans in the stands yeah. for midweek shows well, and weekly show weekend shows. But it's I amazing. Think, um, I think what happens, you know, obviously they have a lot longer winter, so yes. their stuff don't start till about <laughs> April, May, so they got to get all the racing in in one little area. So it's true, it's absolutely but true. But then you know, like uh, they go, to, you can go to Florida for speed weeks, mm-hmm. uh, and we then have you world have like finals, three months and, off. Yeah, there's a lot. So love it. Uh, it. It's it's crazy at, and then you listen to Ricky Thornton, and he goes. Well, I'm going to leave Iowa, and I'm going back to Arizona. Arizona. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, with Arizona, there hasn't been a lot going on uh, throughout this summer because it's so hot, but it'll pick up towards the winter. And you see that more, especially uh, Kaiser Manufacturing. They put up that, I think it was like a big bonus deal they did at, um, I'm trying to think of the track. Of, don't ask. I don't remember, but I do know what you're yeah, talking about. Yeah, my mind's gone blank. <laughs> but anyway, so a lot of late model guys and even mods are now, instead of getting ready for speed weeks in Florida, they're like, Let's go out to Arizona. We can run a couple weeks out there, and 
it's uh it's crazy at the amount of racing that's going on now so uh, it's cool again though but uh definitely a lot of time we're for sure in the home stretch of the 2016 season unfortunately but there's still a lot of racing to do oh there's so much with uh you have uh the fall jamboree uh usmts race is coming up uh they have mod mania which is going to be great in st louis at uh, mm-hmm. gundaker's track we have obviously uh, my, one of my favorites, UMP Nationals at Eldora. And then uh, for us, it's new is going to be the uh, short track. I don't championship. Know, uh, world championship. championship. Mm-hmm. Yeah, world championship. And uh, I'm looking forward to that because it's going to be, gonna be a, a really cool deal. Absolutely. Well, a quick shout out to some of our tweeters this week. Brandy Nicole, she tweeted a picture of a race car on top of the barriers, the Jersey barriers. Never a good sign. At Fayetteville Motor Speedway. <laughs> and she said, I think he was trying to find the way to the pits, but missed his shortcut. Maybe he was mad at somebody. Maybe and he was trying that's to go possible, at- too. <laughs> yeah, and also, Zach Nearhart, um, he posted the three-wide salute at Boone um, for the yeah. Fast Chefs uh, Racing yep, Championships. That cool. So that was I really laugh, cool. I uh, laugh. NASCAR went and they did a four-wide salute, and they're like, hey, this is for our fans. I'm like... Go to dirt your Saturday night. Been dirt doing racing. this for yeah. years. You you've it's, missed the boat on that one, NASCAR. But uh, <laughs> hey, whatever. Maybe they're just picking they, up. It's great. So. I did hear that the fans did love it. Um, so that's cool that they're Probably taking some often. notes from dirt track racing for sure. Um, some upcoming races, obviously Knoxville this weekend. Make okay. sure you are tweeting us at Slander. We Who's want your to see your for pictures. Their... Mine would have been Jared Man, Landers, but he's out. Can't go against Bloomer. He's tough right now. Earl Pearson Jr. I, I'm going well. out there. He's been running well. I'm yes. going with EPJ for the weekend. Right. Um, South South Dirt, well, whatever. Thanks for following us. We'll see you next week here on Sling and Dirt presented this by This has Her- been Sling and Dirt with Ashley and David Strimmy. Listen every Tuesday at 11 Eastern on MRN.com for more news, interviews, and opinion from dirt tracks all over America. Sling and Dirt is a production of the Motor Racing Network. All rights reserved.